You can turn Airtable into a full-fledged CRM by integrating it to tools like telephony and your email. In this case, we're using Ring Central. I've got an interface here and we have a button that's going to let us call our client. So we'll click this, which is going to initiate the call in the Ring Central platform. Then we've got our call. Let me answer that, which is going to connect our call. This is calling through to us as a client. So I'm going to pick it up on my phone here. And let's go ahead and hang up that call now so we don't get this echoey feedback. All right. And so you can see what happened in the background when that call was initiated. It actually wrote that call record back to us. We can see that this call is in progress. Now, what this is doing is it's actually using the APIs to write the information. And we can have some follow-ups later if the call is disconnected or if we want to get the voicemail and do some interesting things with that as well. Hi, I'm Dan Lehman from AutomationHelpers.com, and we're an Airtable implementation partner helping businesses like yours connect Airtable to other applications that you have in your tech stack. So let me show you some of what's happening behind the scenes. If we come in and take a look at our data, we've got our activities table and we have our accounts and contacts. So we were looking at one individual account or client, and they had a primary contact who we were calling. So what we're doing is we've got that button hooked up to an automation here to say when that button is clicked, we're going to take some of that information that we grabbed and we're going to run a script here. So inside of our script here, we've got our input configuration. That's loading in some variables that we have from that record that we actually triggered that interface from. So that's got our record ID of the account. We also have some lookups. So we've got a linked record of our primary contact. And then we're also passing in the phone number and the account manager here. And then what we're doing is we're concatenating all that information together to create these URL parameters, which we then connect to this webhook that we have inside of Make. And so all we're really doing is saying, hey, call this webhook. We've got some information to send it, which if we click over inside of Make, then this is the webhook. We've got the information coming in and that has a data structure that's determined because we're using those URL parameters. From here, we're sending on that information to say, who are we calling? And this is what actually does that screen pop, that that information comes up, it connects us to the caller so that we can place that call on our desktop as we're doing that. And then ultimately, we're taking that information and we're writing it back inside of Airtable to say, hey, we've connected the caller, here's the record for it. And then later on, we're gonna make updates to it. But for now, we're just saying that this call has taken place. It might end in a disconnect, it might end in a voicemail, it might end in actually connecting with the person and talking to them, but at least we know that we've initiated this phone call. And then, like I mentioned, we can have other scenarios which can do the heavy lifting to say, the call's complete, we found a voicemail, or we disconnected. Let's take that information and we go and we find the original record. And from that, we can go and do an upsert. We can say, if that record exists, let's update it with the new statuses and information. If not, we can create a brand new record for it. I hope this has been helpful to see a glimpse of how you could connect Airtable to other applications like Ring Central so that it can act as a full functioning CRM. If you have any questions in getting started with Airtable, don't hesitate to reach out to our website at automationhelpers.com where we're offering free 30-minute consultations.